non-agenda item. Yes. Joe Oscar Ward, too. Um, I just want to clarify that you mentioned you're going to have a brief discussion on the abatement process that took place recently on the Topstone building. Is the public going to have an opportunity to speak at that time? The brief discussion, uh, what I'm hoping to do is because it's a complex issue, and I don't think it's going to be, um, since it wasn't on the agenda, mm -hmm. I think it would not be fair to do that, an in-depth discussion this evening. Um, I think what I will, well, I know what I'll be asking the council is to consider a special meeting date so that we can have one agenda item, a meeting focused on that issue. So if I talk about that right now, I'm not going to be told that, well, that's an agenda item speak then this is where I'm trying to come from should I speak now or should I speak then when you talk about it well I'll leave it to the will of council Sister Mayor Dammer? I'm perfectly fine with your speaking now okay uh, this apparently came about in just the last few days yeah. that it became knowledgeable that it looks like two hundred and twenty two thousand dollars worth of my tax dollar ability went away because of an abatement um, I've spoken to quite a few people and a couple of things that I found out. It appears to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, the all nine of you are sitting here, that the council had no knowledge that $222,000 worth of back taxes on a building that has been a topic of conversation quite regularly with the council uh, was abated and the council didn't know about it. That bothers me considerably um, if there's a provision to abate taxes and the council not know about it this would be one instant where it shouldn't have never happened anyway because the building's been a topic of conversation right down the road if there's a provision for the count for an abatement and the council not to know about it on any building that needs to be changed mm -hmm. the council should know when our money, my money, and I elected some of you, not all of you, uh, to sit up there, when my money is being given away, I would prefer that my elected officials have a little bit of knowledge about it. That is not proper to make an abatement, give money away, especially a lot of money. Uh, there's a lot of people in this room that have not paid that much in taxes in their entire life to the city of Claremont, and it's gone away. Correct me if I'm wrong on any of this, but uh, I would like to know exactly how that happened. As a taxpayer, as a voting member of the city, and as a member of the city, I would like to know exactly how this happened when you go to that meeting. Um, th this, this has me, and let me tell you, a lot of other people irritated, and if you think I need to get signatures so you know how many people are just let me know because people are watching this right now and some people are just barely finding out that some of our tax dollars were were laid aside uh i'll get all the signatures you want if you want thank you for listening to me thank you thank, thank you. you anybody else from the public would like to speak on a non-agenda item no okay okay we'll close citizens forum and move on move Move on to the first order of business, which is the uh, 155B action. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think probably all of you are aware we have a, a property at 139 Main Street, um, a brick building across from Leo's and down a little bit that's been deteriorating over a period of time. Uh, the deterioration has become worse in in the last I would say four to six weeks we've had bricks falling on cars in the rear causing is the one that we added tonight uh, through the council's approval and that was a short discussion on um, how to move forward with this issue regarding the topstone building and assessment and abatements and all of that so I know one of the counselors had a request to have um, Mr. Lassard present. He was unavailable tonight. Um, 
and I know the city manager was getting some dates as to when he would be available. Did you have a chance to speak to him? You might not have had to. Uh, I did. Um, he He's definitely available next Wednesday. Next Wednesday evening? Yes. Okay. So the propo my proposal is that um, we do exactly what we did with the um, governor veto bills, and that's to have a, a special meeting focused on one agenda item. Yes, Councilor Kowalski. I've just uh, identified conf conflict of interest. I'm one of uh, several tenants in that property. I would feel more comfortable uh, recusing myself and taking a seat. Okay. On. Yes, I'm sorry. Thank you. Anything else? So, um, yeah, uh, this, as uh, Mr. Osgood, Osgood had said earlier in the evening, uh, this has really become, um, uh, we, we've really just become aware of this, and it was there was no time to put it on tonight's agenda. So to be fair to all counselors and the public and to go through this in a methodical manner and to ensure that we have all of the factual information as it deals to an assessment process, an abatement process, and how this occurred, I would strongly recommend that we set up a special meeting for Wednesday, what's the, um, Wednesday the 19th. 19th. Yes. Sister yeah. Mayor The only thing I would add to that, I think we need to ask uh, our legal counsel in their office mm -hmm whichever attorney is the most familiar with all of these issues if they are here as well to yes. go back and forth between the assessor and the legal issues I think that would be very beneficial mm -hmm. Councillor Stone some of the documents that has been requested uh, there was an issue with information I still would like to have those provided to the council members as they are a public document by the close of business on Friday Okay, so you're prepared for the meeting on Wednesday. That's correct, yes. so we can review them over the weekend. Councilor Pope? Is it common that we have a council meeting for every abatement? I think we have. Yeah. I would say not. No. There is this one special because of all the politics around it. Let's just put this right on the table here. This particular property is a catalyst for this discussion. But this is not the only property that has had a reduction in assessment value. And I think uh, I prefer to deal with processes to ensure that it's fair across the board. Um, but it takes to know if we have a process in place that is fair across the board, we have to understand what the process is. And that's why I think it's important to have the assessor here, legal counsel here, um, and we are dealing with, we are all getting the same information at the same time and coming to the same understanding about what that process is. Kind of answers my question, but my question comes back to the uh, normal thing. Is it normal that we have a council meeting for just one property or do we do it for all abatements? And that. I've never done a special meeting for this before, but when, but it's just like, the biomass yeah. bills. The only reason why we, ha there's going to be a lot of, for instance, there'll be a lot of vetoes on Thursday that the legislature has to consider whether to sustain the governor's veto or, or a rider. Why did we have a special meeting? Because the mayors of the 13 New Hampshire cities were asked to sign on to a letter. I can't go one way or the other unless I have the council's support, at least the majority of the council. So that involves, given the issue, a com as complex as it was gives us the need to have time to focus on that and come to a decision so this is it's taken on a life of its own and I think things are being concluded that may or may not be true I don't know I don't have all the answers with regard to an assessment process an abatement process and I would like to be fully educated on that before we take any position as a council. So I'll follow up here. If we do something like this on this one, a few years ago, the Peterson building was abated due to um, various appeals that um, I think it was John Illick at the time had placed. It was abated by a substantial amount. Um, there have been several other properties in town been abated by substantial amounts. 
I guess I'm just trying to understand the idea of trying to be open, fair, and honest in this whole thing. Mm -hmm. I don't mind this one coming, but I mean, is this one just coming to head because of the politics, or is it that that's kind of my thing? I, I agree we should have the meeting, but I'm just going to put that out there. I think this one is coming to head because of the politics. Please put that in the record. I think this is a catalyst for a broader discussion, and I don't think any one counselor here is fully versed on the process and the ins and outs of the New Hampshire law as it applies to um, assessments and abatements. And I think it's an opportunity for us to be better educated and to improve the process if there are, if there are shortcomings in the process. For instance, this would be the time in such a discussion if the council, you know, mandates to the city manager all abatements we want to be notified of. This is not focused or directed on one particular property because, as you said before, this is not the first property to have a reduction in its assessed value. So I'm glad you brought it up. I want to be clear. I'm not targeting one property or another. This is a catalyst. I mean, but... Um, I think the way this unfolded tells me that we have some issues with the process and it needs to be improved. Assistant Mayor Dameron? Yeah. Um, would I expect every abatement to come before the council? No. That, that would tie somebody up administratively for quite a long time keeping the process straight. In this particular case, this particular building has been talked about every time we've had motions for uh, tax deeding or anything else. This building's always been brought up. I don't know necessarily the politics of it, but it's been discussed often enough. It's large enough. It's here and looking us in the face. Um, it is the perfect catalyst to become much better versed regarding what the process is. This is a perfect vehicle uh, to be used to determining what the process is so that we all know it. But would I expect uh, every single abatement to come before us? Heck no. But a special meeting um, dedicated to this one subject will give all of us the opportunity to have the in-depth discussion that we need to have because at this point in time there are a lot of questions there are a lot of concerns and we need to have this done in a way that gives all of us the ample time that we need to have the discussion but as well also to give public the opportunity that they want to have to talk about whatever mm -hmm. their concerns are and we can't do that tonight because of how this whole thing unfolded mm -hmm. Any other thoughts? Councilor Stone? I think uh, scheduling a special meeting next Wednesday is the most appropriate action at this point to dedicate it to this issue. Okay. Anything else? So same time, 6.30? Works for me. Okay. 6.30 next Wednesday, the 19th. Okay. That's that. And now we're on to committee reports. Are